everyone, this is your host Hurley for another episode of the Learning Essentials Podcast. Join me in today's episode as I reflect on my diasporic identity. The words I used sound complex, but indeed they are. Let me start with diaspora, which refers to people from any state or nation moving to a new one. The move involves leaving a familiar place but still bringing to another something significant the sense of identity. This movement is triggered by elements that push people out from where they are rooted to, to being pulled by factors that promise peace, safety, freedom, and economic stability. I want to reflect on my journey from Asia to North America. I was born and raised in the Philippines. I spent most of my growing years there, attended university, and earned my degrees that led me to embrace my profession, to teach, train, and do research, among others. Then I migrated to a new country. What made me decide to leave behind the familiar and embrace the unfamiliar? It requires a leap of faith, a firm conviction that this decision would make a difference personally and professionally. But I had doubts then, and I still have doubts now. In my new country, I started as an instructor in language and employment-related training programs. I have also done some curriculum and materials development projects. In addition, I did volunteer work in my field and continued building my networks. Who am I? I left behind an identity rooted in my country and ancestry. However, my identity now has contradictions to who I become in a new country. I'm in the middle of these two identities. At home, I talk in my language with all facilities and communicate with my family and relatives on the phone and on social media in a familiar language. I speak in English to interact with people from different cultures at work. I watch shows and listen to songs in my native language at home. I shop at Filipino grocery stores on some weekends, buy our favorite homemade pastries, and cook our traditional food. I meet people from diverse cultural backgrounds, interact with them, and participate in potlucks prepared either by students or colleagues at work. I acquire new skills, training, and work experience. Who am I? In my country, I was taught to use ate about older sister and kuya for older brother when speaking to elders as a sign of respect. In my new country, I call people by their first names. I was raised to share even the most minor things about me extend support and protect my family at all costs. In my new country, I learn to be independent, self-sufficient, and prioritize my safety and well-being above all things. I knew my relatives coming from a close-knit culture and remember my neighbors in my community, even celebrating with them our special events and festivities. In my new country, I rarely see and interact with my neighbors, just the occasional greetings of highs and hellos. So, I came to this point of reflecting on my journey. I'm on the crossroads, the crossroads of two cultures. How authentic am I in my identity as I live in a culture that is in some ways different? Being truthful to my real identity is to struggle with a new identity. Unless I find a common experience to reconcile both, I'm caught in between. To what extent can I claim that I am one and the other, that these two identities are me and not contradictory? I am in a new country with more than one identity. I am Asian, brown, Filipino, and more in my heart. I could not totally be everything in my new country that offers me something. Canada is my home, but it is a home away from home. Let's celebrate our identities. After all, we belong to the same humanity. Happy Family Day, 
Thank you for your continued support in listening, following, and sharing the Learning Essentials podcast. Thank you.